Today we're on the way to Dhirunbandi. It's a small town, 94 kilometers south of St. George on the Castlereagh Highway. Apparently there's a Russian bakery there with great food and coffee. So let's go find the old town of Dhirunbandi and check out a Russian bakery. Woohoo! Here's a good looking truck coming along. Got some hay on it. How about driving one of them along? Here we go, I've stopped here on the road because I saw this irrigation channel. Check this out. There is a walkway crossing the irrigation channel with a sleuth gate underneath to control the water levels. That's the irrigation boom. I don't know what they're growing. Wow, isn't this brilliant? We've left the irrigation channels behind and are back on the road to Diran Bandi. like Dhirambandi, looks like a big metropolis. We've driven for about an hour, there's been no town, nothing really on the road. There's a frog there. I'm looking for a Russian cake shop. I wonder if it's a Soviet Russian cake shop. There's a hardware shop and a chemist. Hotel, oh, nice Dira Pub, Rural there's Training the, Centre, there's the Information Centre, Green Frog Cafe. Oh, where's the Green Frog Cafe? There. Where's the bakery? Where's the bakery? There. Where? Oh, bakery. Green Frog. Yes. Oh. Toilets. This looks like a good place. This to looks stop. like a good place to stop. So here we are, here we are in Dhirambandi. It's a nice looking little town. It's not... Across the road we've got a food works. Let's go and talk. I found a gentleman here, let's go and talk to him. Let's see if he's a local. Are you a local gentleman? I am. Can I, can I talk to you on my GoPro? Go for life. There. We came through from um, St George mm -hmm. and on the left there were channels where they had irrigation yep. and big booms. What are they growing there? Uh, various stuff, but yeah, some of the booms... Uh, which side did you come so across? We, it was bus? on the left. The okay, on the left. On okay. the left, Coming yeah. out of St George and coming through yes. Manning. Yep. Uh, there's uh, Loosen Hay. Loosen Hay. Uh, the sorghum there for hay and the other stuff. Not under the booms, it's cotton. It's cotton. Yeah. And is that Cubby Station there? Yeah. Cubby's just here, is it? And do you have you always lived in this area? No. No? No, I'm not even local yet. I've only been here 27 years. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've had to be oh. 35 years and have one generation in the... Uh, in the right. <laughs> I see. And do you like living out here? Love it. Love it, yeah. And we, this morning, have come from St George and we've come all the way down this road here, down the Castlereagh Highway and we've come over to Dhirunbandi. We're in the Dhirunbandi Tourist Centre, I think it is the Information Tourist Centre and you can see they've got lots of information of things you can do around the place and things you can buy and some information about the Cubby Station and you can get trips to the Cubby Station and they've got a town library I think you can get everything that you want in Dhirunbandi. It looks like a very nice place to live. So, a long time ago, Dhirunbandi used to have a railway station as well, uh, but the trains have been discontinued. There are still a few tracks around, and behind me you can see the old station building. So, we came here to find a Russian cafe. It's called the Green Frog Cafe and it's a bakery as well. In front of me is the Dhirunbandi Russian Bakery but today unfortunately it's closed for an electrical upgrade. 
Never mind, we'll have to come back again to Deer and Bandy to go to the Russian bakery. I wonder if it's an old Soviet Russian bakery. bakery. I wonder what sort of bakery cakes they've got. Hmm. I wonder if they've got fat-free bakery cakes. Let's have a look. We'll have a look inside. Yeah, it looks good. Look. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, look, that looks very nice inside. Yes, I think we'll definitely have to come back to Duran Bandy to the Russian cafe and you can see the Russian doll at the back yeah. and they've got Russian things at the top. Yeah. Unfortunately, they're not rushing anywhere today because they're having an electrical upgrade done. <laughs> Never mind. Good old Duran Bandy. We'll have to come in here again. Yes, I can't see any Kentucky Fried Chicken or McDonald's here. So if you're after Kentucky Fried Chicken and McDonald's, I think you could be out of luck. Here's some information about Cubby Station. 98. Right. Okay. So it's a pioneer, Des Stevenson, yeah. Yeah. 1929 to 2000. He yeah. was the pioneer of the cotton industry in yeah. Deer and Bandy. Um, the first cotton was picked on Cubby Station was in 1988. His contribution to the Deer and Bandy community and encouragement of those around him will be remembered. Duran Bandy Cotton Growers Association in 2000. That's when this plaque was made, mm -hmm. and they put up a nice yeah. little, a nice little yeah, um, Mount yeah, Monument. Cross the road, yeah. post office, water tower. And there's a place to stay, isn't they, down there? And there's a place to stay. There's a place to stay behind me, and across the road there's a Duran Bandy Motel where you can get meals, accommodation and pokies. Lovely little park that we're in and the station, some public toilets and a rotunda where you can sit and eat your lunch. Top place. Well, we had a drive around the back streets of Durham Bandy before we left. The town is larger than we expected. We found a service station, hospital, primary school, police station and more parks displaying old exhibits from times gone by. Diran Bandy is well worth a visit and we shall come again soon for a short stay. Bye for now and we shall see you again soon on our next adventure. Bye.